I'm here to demonstrate real fast <coughs> how the radial array works. So let me um, get me a circle laid down here real fast, and I'll show you how this works. Okay, I'm going to go to the duplicate tab, and I can go to the array, which gives me this kind of a deal, and I can adjust how I want them this way. So that's pretty cool, and you can move these around and, you know, space them out, you know, all that good stuff, but that's the regular array. I was going to show you the radial array. So let's back up here. And let's click the um, radial array, and you can also click the instance radial array, but we're just going to do the radial array. We'll have a count of 24, and we'll click, and you'll see that gives me an array. A radial array, actually. And I can lower the amount and raise it. And we can do some cool stuff with it, like we can make our offset. Let's make our offset 10 meters. Now you can see what we're getting. Now we can do our end angle. Heck, let's make it 1080. Now we're getting this cool shape, and let's up our count to 100. Now you can see what we're getting. Pretty cool, huh? And you can do this with the box or just about anything. You can use the radial array on anything. So this is a quick tip on the radial array, how it works, what it does, and you can imagine a lot of the good things that you could use this for. Um, your imagination is your only limitation. Thanks for watching, guys.